Okay, today, class, we're going to read a book that I know is one of your guys' favorites that we've already already read. Do you want to read the title of that? <laughs> no. Okay, it's Thank You, Mr. Falker. Okay, so today, yeah, it's a good book. So today, when we're reading, we're going to focus on important details. So what I want you to do, when you hear, some, hear me read something that you think is an important detail, I want you to put your thumb up, and then we'll write it on the board. And then after that, we'll write our own story. Okay. The grandpa held the jar of honey so that all the family could see. Then dipped a ladle into it and drizzled the honey onto the cover of a small book. You think that's important? Yeah. Okay, we better write that up there. The little girl had just turned five. Stand up, little one, he cooed. I did this for your mother, your uncles, your older brother, and now you. Then he handed the book to her. Taste. She dipped her finger into the honey and put it to her mouth. <laughs> yes. Why does the honey have a book? I think we're about to learn that. Don't you remember since we read this last week? No. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we should focus on the important details this okay. time. Then he handed her the book and said, Taste. She dipped her finger into the honey and put it to her mouth. What is that taste? Said the, gr the grandpa asked. The little girl answered, sweet. Then all the family said in a single voice, yes, and so is knowledge. But knowledge is like the bee that made that sweet honey, and you have to chase it through the pages of a book. Do you think that's important? We should probably put that in our story as well. Okay. Then the little girl knew that the promise to read was at last hers. Soon she was going to learn to read. Trisha, the littlest girl in the family, grew up loving books. Her school teacher, mother, read to her every night. Her red-headed brother brought his books home for brought his books home from school and shared them. And whenever she visited with family, the family farm, her grandfather and grandmother read to her by the stone fireplace. That sounds kind of important. Okay, I think we'll end there for today. So tomorrow, when you're with your reading buddy, you pick out your favorite book and read it to them. And see if they remember the important parts and the important details, and then ask them questions about the book when you're done reading it to them. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're wearing red sandals, you can go get your reading basket.